You really thought I died? Like, I got brutally murdered by a dude and that was it? Hey everybody, my name is Rarus Emerald and this is day 8 of Minecraft Middle Earth. If you want to watch the days before this, then click here to watch all of them. But before we dive right into the video, I want you to hit that big red button because that'll make me really, really happy. Unless it's grey, then, well, you'd want to stay away from it. Also make sure to turn on notifications so that you'll know when we upload killer videos like this. Yeah, not the pun. Now let's get Minecraft in. Now, we need to be extra sneaky. See that ruffian brute? Yeah, I'ma attack him. Look, it's nothing personal. Sharky just wanted a few words with you. Mm. Ha, an easy kill. For you guys who started watching the series, let me give you a small insight. Up to day 8, I've been attempting to survive saving my life. Basically, I spent day 1 to day 2 in the Shire, chilling out with the hobbits. Day 3, I started to head to Bree. Day 4, I saw some creepy looking orcs. Day 5? What did I do again? Oh yeah, I got to Bree and I visited the Prancing Pony. Day 6, I almost lost all of my items. Day 7, I met some ruffian brutes and I started attacking them. And that leads us to Day 8. I'm going to spend some more time in Bree and then we're gonna set off. So keep watching till the end to get the ultimate Minecraft Lord of the Rings experience. Okay, so now I attacked this brute and I panicked a lot. I gave him a blow and then he swung his axe at me, giving me a heavy knockback. I tried to attack, but I only got one lousy shot. I was down to two hearts for heaven's sake. I, I even paused the game. I spent 9 seconds here wondering if this was how it was going to be. I even imagined myself, my gravestone, R.I.P. Rarest Emerald, attacked by a ruffian root. I unpaused my game and made a run for it. I was so sure he was right behind me. And then I dreamt. And I noticed that I was down to one heart. Just one heart. If I tripped again, my life would end here. So I stopped jumping and kept on running. And once I entered the market, I looked over my shoulder. He was nowhere to be seen. I stopped running and looked behind me. Yep, he definitely was not there. My priority now was to get my health up to the max. And I was going to need food to do that. But not wanting to look into my pouches to find the right one, I started to blow my pipe. And then I walked around the market, waiting till I healed up. I started to look for the ruffian, but then he wasn't there. Until I saw this ruffian. Those little folk are sneaky. Be sure you don't get tailed. I attacked him. He attacked me, leaving me with only four hearts. And then he stole some items from my inventory. I ran for my life with only two and a half hearts left. After walking only a distance away, I looked around. I could see him, but he wasn't following me. He headed to the prance in Pony. I regained my health, and then when he came out of the prance in Pony, I gave him a sharp blow with my battle axe. And oh my god, he stole a lot of coins and a dagger of mine. Gosh, what a way to start my 8th day off, don't you think? So I walked in Bree a bit more further and when I saw this other ruffian brute, he was doing something in the bushes, like turning in circles. He was an easy target. I hurt him with my pike and ran, thinking he would follow me. But he didn't. The moment I had turned my back away, he stole my items. I gathered myself together and then hid behind a bush for a moment. And then I started attacking you and you. Until finally he was dead. Now as much as I liked Bree, I decided to say and bid farewell. But before I did, I saw a ruffian brute standing there with his iron sword. Before I engaged in combat however, I took three blows of my pipe. Then attacked him, and I wished I had not chosen my pike. It was too slow. When 
I was on the run, I came across another bandit, but I avoided him too. When I had lost the ruffian, I backtracked my path. I found him right there, and right there and then, I decided to check out how my crossbow worked. I loaded it up and clicked it. I thought I could control my velocity of my crossbow bolt, but no, I could not. Anyhow, I started to look for the ruffian, and I found he was on this roof. With only one shot, I shot him down so easily, and I got my coins. Sweet. And now from that point on, I killed a few more ruffians. And when I exited Bree, a bandit just stole my items and ran away from me. But no worries, I got my items back. And by this time, night had fallen. And I was outside the Bree walls, making my way to the Forsaken Inns, if there ever was such a place. And I went and walking in the moonlight. And yeah, I didn't find anything more fascinating on my journey across the parks. Just trees, free people, free guards, and you guessed it, more bandits and ruffians. And that's it guys, day 8 on Minecraft Middle Earth Lord of the Rings. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you have, then give it a like and drop a comment. And please subscribe to our YouTube channel to make your dosage of Minecraft even better. If you want to follow along on the adventure, then turn on notifications and follow us on Instagram and Twitter. And yeah, that's it. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.